Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, June 30th, 2021 edition of the Sand and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Our handler Ye Jing came across an interesting email that claimed to come from Google and tried to entice victims to send them their personal information. So it was sort of a phishing attempt, but a little bit different in a sense that, first of all, there was no link involved here. Instead, there was just a PDF, which... Well, I guess sort of looked legitimate, uh, like it came from Google, lots of random uh, codes and such and a colorful background logo. In order to exfiltrate the information, what the attacker did here is basically just list all the information they need in order uh, to release this payment to you and then email it uh, to a particular email address. They went as far as to register a domain, G-O-O corporate or corporate uh, really dot com. So something that looks a little bit like it could be used uh, by uh, Google for uh, corporate purposes uh, like this. The domain was registered last September, so not terribly uh, new and uh, interesting kind of to see whether or not uh, anybody would fall for a trick like this. But this is the type of trick that's not really all that easy to prevent by just uh, filtering or scanning email because there wasn't really sort of anything terribly wrong with this particular PDF. And Brad posted the solution for this month's forensics contest. So if you were working on this or if you submitted a solution, well, uh, you can now check if you got it right. I think we only got like five uh, totally completely correct solutions in total is what uh, Brad told me. I know we got a ton of submissions, uh, even though this one uh, was significantly more difficult than some of the prior uh, quizzes that Brad posted. And uh, congratulations uh, to Dimitri who won uh, this month's uh, contest. Not really sure what we'll do next month. Maybe we'll go back to the uh, podcast uh, error hunt or so. Still have to figure out uh, if we do a contest like this for July. It looks like we now have some idea what happened to all these Western Digital MyBook drives that got erased, even though the news here is a little bit contradicting. Western Digital states that uh, there was a vulnerability in 2018 that's being abused here. On the other hand, there is a post by Dan Gooden at uh, Ars Technica who is quoting researchers that found a very amazing kind of simple vulnerability, almost a backdoor where the authentication code that was supposed to authenticate requests to factory reset these Western digital uh, devices was actually commented out. This reminds me a little bit of the Citrix vulnerability we had like, uh, when was it? Sort of one and a half years ago, where we also had some basically common out sort of input validation code here uh, the authentication code was literally commented out allowing unauthenticated requests to actually reset these drives to factory condition and we have more details about a recently patched vulnerability in Adobe's Experience Manager. Uh, this is a content management uh, tool, so similar to WordPress or Drupal, uh, but uh, coming from Adobe. And uh, it recently suffered from a remote code execution vulnerability that Adobe patched. Now we do have sufficient details for exploitation and this will likely start a wave of attempts to exploit this vulnerability. So if you're not up to date, uh, the clock is ticking and you certainly do want to update and patch Adobe Experience Manager before this weekend. According to the researchers that uh, created uh, this blog, Iho and uh, Bao Bui, uh, the uh, vulnerability is present currently in about 160,000 instances that they have detected. 
And then there is yet news again about a large number, I believe 700 million of LinkedIn records for sale on hacker forums. Well, in this case, it's actually not technically a breach. Apparently what keeps happening is uh, attackers abusing the LinkedIn API in order to essentially scrape data from LinkedIn's site. So nothing to be too worried about, but of course the data could easily be used uh, in some larger social engineering attacks. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And uh, due to the holiday weekend, uh, we do have a little bit of modified schedule for the podcast. Uh, There will be no podcast on July 2nd and on July 5th. So no podcast on Friday and Monday.